It's been a, it's been quite the week as I've been hanging out with my friends from Mod Bomb, Aubrey and Faisal. Faisal, I got to meet for the first time this week. Aubrey, I've known for how many years now? Like ten years, ten plus it has years. To be, yeah, because I mean, you've uh, you've been a part of multiple projects from Amplified Ale Works to the Heart and Trotter, who have all found their way to the Rock and Roll Happy Hour at some point. Absolutely, and thank you for that. Yeah, we've yeah. had a lot of fun on this show. Before. Are you kidding me? You have a blast, and this week has only uh, has only furthered that. Now that uh, you have taken over this space that used to be Amplified Ale Works East Village, aka Evil, uh, she's turned it into this blank canvas of her imagination. Like I said, you know, I, I would love um, psychedelic mushrooms in thirty minutes inside your brain. I think we kind of get that with what Mod Bomb is and what you've done. It. And the, the time that you turned it around, you literally told me you were taking over the space. And within, I want to say like four weeks, you were already up. Yeah, I basically split the project in half and worked on one side in two and a half weeks and then did the other side in two and a half weeks. And me and my friend Christine literally did all the labor ourselves. So the entire space is built by women, which is also another cool point I forget to mention all the time. And yeah, literally just... I looked at the space and I was like, how can I change this and make it my own art project? Well, you you killed it. And I think we've kind of established that it is a it is the East Village San Diego playground for adults because you have the coffee shop. You've got the, the, we didn't even get a chance to really dive in deep to the barbecue. You have like this huge barbecue menu uh, and it's Sonoran barbecue. So it's not like not like you're going out to East County and having some of that barbecue. This is this is a, a wide variety of different flavors and cuts and meats. And um, I will definitely come out for two things actually uh, just about everything the gin and tonic which uh, the house made tonic they, they literally phase l- on tuesday made tonic in front of me it was amazing to go with the gin and um and the barbecue and the lush bomb which was a whiskey infused cold brew coffee cocktail yeah so it's a uh, an unaged white whiskey cocktail using uh, local cold brew almond milk uh, and cinnamon and I love that you literally turn that cold brew in from the coffee shop. It's like you guys yep. have coffee in the morning. You've got cocktails in the afternoon and evening with some barbecue in the middle of it. It's um, it's a really cool, I don't know, just a really cool space if you need to get some work done. If you're working remote, that's what I'm talking about. I've worked from home most of my life, so I just needed to make a place where I didn't want to leave. I think you nailed it. I think you. Okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah cool. I'm spend, glad that happened. <laughs> you can spend most of your day above ground, and then you know, uh, once the uh, the sun sets, you can go underneath ground to the acid vault and have some of those uh, those crazy cocktails that Anna and you have Anna and who else? Uh, the newcomer who just jumped in there. Uh, her name is Cassie, and she's awesome. She actually worked with us at Amplified, and Anna and I just kind of recognized the talent she had, and we, you know, wanted to foster that and grow it. And she has wildly grown beyond all of our expectations. She's amazing, and we're so happy to have her a part of the Acid Vault team as well. Yeah, I had, I had warm feelings yesterday after that uh, existential detective. Uh, you should have warm feelings. <laughs> I love that cocktail. <laughs> well, we have one more cocktail left to round out the week. We're coming up on time. Are you ready to get into this? Absolutely. Right, Let's g- do it. Give me one second, because the intro is playing right now. I hate that this week has to end and that we have to wrap it up on a Friday. Actually, I don't hate it. I fact, I love the fact that I've been drinking cocktails with Ma Bomb all week. Aubrey Faisal, bar manager extraordinaire, has been over here mixing Woo! cocktails. Thank you so much for all your uh, your, your thank thank work. You. You have uh, you've absolutely slayed it with the cocktails, uh, and I, I believe Anna even gave you uh, five out of five stars on your creation yesterday. That uh, you know, it was her recipe. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope I did well by her. <laughs> but we must end the week with one last beverage. And this one has a story that uh, kind of warms my heart. And I know uh, um, it means a lot to you, Aubrey. So I'm going to let you talk about what we're going to end the week with. Yeah. So our last cocktail you're going to try is called a Pops Viva Libre. And it is actually inspired by my dad drinking his Cuba Libre every evening and smoking his cigar. So it's a smoked cocktail, and it's our version of a Cuba Libre, which I would never let soda on a cocktail menu of mine. I was going to ask about (laughs) that, because that does not seem very Aubrey. Yeah, so as I said, like I kind of try to set like parameters or my ideas, throw them out to the people that I work with that run the bar, and I'm like, hey, let's do this, but I don't want soda. So how do we recreate the flavor profile of of a Coca-Cola, right? So we have like a cola syrup, we have different Amaros, and uh, actually Faisal can talk a little bit more about the build on this cocktail. Please. Yeah, it smells amazing. Is that ground lime on the top? That is, yeah. So a little bit of lime zest just to kind of open it up, give it that aromatic. Instead of just throwing a normal little lime wedge on there, we zest a little bit of lime just for the nose. So when you're taking a sip of that, it cuts through all that sweetness that you're getting. Uh, As she did mention, we do make a house-made cola syrup in-house. And then our kind of build that we do with that is going to be an aged rum 
and then uh, Amaro Averna and Maletti. So Maletti has a very almost close flavor profile to what you get in like a Coca-Cola. It's very nutty. It's sweet. We mix those all together. We shake them up and then we actually smoke that in-house. We kind of bring that out to people out on the table. So it's kind of a table side presentation. People love to get their phones out, try and take a video of it as quick as they can. And then they really get to enjoy it. It's awesome that we took something as kind of simple and you see it everywhere as a rum and coke, a Cuba Libre, and made our own really awesome one of a kind twist on it. So let me tell you right now, the um, this is the best Cuba Libre I ever had. But with the addition of the smoke, I really feel like I'm having a Cuba Libre in a cigar. It's crazy. Like my mind is is playing tricks on me. Like wait, did, did I, I smell my fingers? Did, did I did I did I just smoke a cigar? Exactly. Yeah. And actually, when we were talking about like the design elements within the space, there is a mountain silhouette behind the bar where the Popolo barbecue comes out of. And I actually designed that to be the same mountain range that my dad would look at while he drank his Cuba Libre and smoked his cigars. So it's like you're getting my whole like dad's experience essentially when you order that cocktail. That is so cool. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. that with me. I um, you know what? It's my favorite cocktail of the week right here. You nailed <laughs> it. You wrapped it up perfectly with uh, with this. And uh, man, I cannot wait for more people to uh, to travel to East Village, check out Mod Bomb, 1429 Island Avenue. Go experience everything from the coffee. To the barbecue, the cocktails, the acid vault, it is your playground. Thank you for introducing it to me this week for our happy hour last call. Oh my God, my pleasure. Thank you for having us. It's really cool, and I'm so glad you got to try all the cocktails, and we got to do this, especially bringing on Faisal. He's amazing. He's the best. So, and I'm going to yeah. steal his hat before the end of this. Oh my God, please do. <laughs> I got plenty in the back. <laughs> He's going, I, got, I got plenty of these in the car. All right, what are we in with? We need something. I feel like we need something almost kind of like, uh, like I don't know, Southwest, something cowboy ish Maybe like a Sturgill Simpson song? Ooh, you know, since since you painted that picture of your dad in the mountains and the Cuba Libre and the cigar, there's only one Sturgill Simpson song that goes with it. What is that? Living the dream. Love it. There it is. We're done. We're out of here. We're finished. You are crazy if you ever come to San Diego and you do not go to Mod Bomb and enjoy at least the cocktails. I can't speak to the barbecue, but give me a give me a weekend or two. I'll be out there to uh, to try it myself. Next week, I don't know. I didn't look at my calendar. I have no idea who's going to be there. Thank you guys again. We'll see you next time. Au revoir.